convert audio tracks found on regular stereo playing audio CDs to MP3, you could use Windows Media Player version 10 or higher to do just that with pure ease. Simply open up the program and click on the RIP tab. RIP. RIP music from audio CDs. Now, insert the CD you want to RIP to MP3. Once you do, Windows Media Player will recognize it and list all of the songs on that CD which you could RIP to MP3 format. To RIP these tracks to MP3 format, simply check or uncheck the songs you want or don't want to RIP to MP3 format. Next, select Tools, then Options, RIP Music. Specify where music is stored and change RIP settings. RIP Music to this location. This is where Windows Media Player will save the MP3 files it RIPs from your audio CD. Press the Change button to change locations and folders on your computer. You can even make a new folder by pressing this button right here if you don't see a specific folder you'd like to save these new MP3 files to. File Name. Here you can determine how Windows Media Player names and titles the song files you're about to rip. Once you go into this region and to determine these settings, you really don't have to go in here ever again. RIP Settings. Simply, of all these choices, you want MP3. MP3 is the most widely used audio format for MP3 players, iPods, you name it. RIP CD when inserted. I wouldn't choose this. You want to be in control of when you RIP CDs. What if you wanted to just play a CD and not RIP it? Well, keep this box unchecked so Windows Media Player doesn't interrupt your playing and start ripping without your consent. Eject CD when ripping is complete? Sure, that's a good idea. Tell me when Windows Media is done ripping this audio CD. Eject the CD. Audio quality? Always choose best quality. Great. After you've chosen where you want your audio files ripped and saved to and what file format MP3, you want them ripped to, you're ready to press the OK button. Now, check to make sure you have the song or songs selected which you like to rip. Also, what if you don't see song titles and all you see are track 1, 2, 3? Well, press the Find Album Info button. If you get a message that says Change Your Privacy Settings in Tools, Options, then let's do that so Windows Media Player can search the internet for those song titles. Tools, Options, Privacy tab. Click Display Media Information from the internet and update music files by retrieving media info from the internet. Great. Press OK. Now, when you're ready, press the RIP Music button right here and let her rip. You can check the progress of each song as Windows Media Player rips each song from stereo format into MP3 format. Pretty cool. When Windows Media Player is done ripping the song or songs you selected, the CD will eject and you can now go and find and play the files you just ripped on your computer by pressing the Now Playing button, then File, Open, Locate the song you just ripped, or the songs. There it is. Select them, and shabam. Turn up the volume and listen away. Another nice thing about MP3 files is that you can transfer them to your digital MP3 player or iPod also as often as you like. Check out our video tutorials on how to transfer MP3 music files to your iPod Shuffle, Nano, or Video iPod player. And check out our tutorial on how to organize audio files on your computer. They're all hot and all very enlightening to say the least. Come on, let's check out some more video tutorials at mytrainingcenter.com.